Hey everyone, what's up? It's Tracy from Poplitz Magazine hanging out with E Nation tonight. How's it going, guys? Great to be here. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. We're here at Mercy Lounge where you guys are going to play. So, so totally stoked for that. I do want to ask I notice you guys get really involved in the music when you're performing. Does your faith have anything to do with that? Well, sure. I mean, it has to do with everything, whether it's music or family or whatever. I mean, it's kind of a. It's not something we put on pause, you know, when we're playing music. Um, but absolutely. The songs, you know, they come from a very personal place. And I think we've always wanted our live performances to have a lot of passion and a visceral energy to it. Yeah, yeah I mean, the only way for me, and I prob probably for the same for you, the only way that feels authentic is to really just go for it. And uh, putting everything you have into it, at least for me, helps me not think about it. And so yeah. I can just... Do it. Well, it definitely comes off as authentic and genuine. So, and then I, I read online that you guys want your music to kind of, as artists, overcome the darkness of the world. What I mean, with the tragedies going on in the world, it's like every day there's something. Does that affect you even more? Yeah. Yeah. We we were just we've talked about this recently. Like every day, I'll get an alert on my phone: another terrorist attack, another this, this, the thing in France with the the the, the Catholic Church. I mean, stuff to us. Yeah. It's difficult to see that every day and, and feel like, and ignore it, you know? So I feel, we've talked before, I feel it's like it's our, it's part of our job, I guess, without sounding pretentious as artists, to try to bring things like that to light and try to pe make people aware of that sort of thing. Um, sometimes it's, it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's paradoxical because you know, it's we have to fight against it, and sometimes the job of the artist also is to, you know, open up the darkness and and sort of as a, as a kind of, you know, therapy, a common human experience. And so, um, yeah, it's tough, you know, um, and it's something that goes into our songs. A lot of the, our new songs for a new record um, touch upon that kind of stuff. So, I know music heals the soul for me, and I'm sure for you guys as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Whenever you're going through something tough, it's like, turn on the music, yeah. block the world out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> so what are your aspirations as a band? Would you say that's one of them, or do you have some other aspirations? Uh, what do you think? Yeah, aspirations as a band, as far as, I mean, the only aspiration I think that we all have is to just continue to be who we are and try to be true to ourselves and when you're doing music, there's a lot of things coming at you from different directions and people trying to get you to do things a certain way. Uh, and we've really fought against that for a long time and tried to just be ourselves. And um, it's not always the easiest thing to do. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know if other... Yeah, I mean, I think, I, I think the, the aspiration is to be as authentic and as honest as possible with whatever we're doing. Um, and... It's, and I think it's the same for all of us. The goal is for the music to, um, to come from a place that's completely natural, whatever that is. And so, um, whether it's uh, you know a song that's about healing, or whether it's a song about just the fact that everything hurts right now. I mean, it's whatever it is. It just honesty and authenticity um, is the most important thing. I mean, that's the starting point for sure. I like that. The world needs more of that. Yeah, I mean, th those are the artists that have inspired us. I mean, you know, when I think about bands like R.E.M., and obviously this became such a, a, such a known song, but at the time when it came out, it was a real moment, you know, like everybody hurts, you know, th to be able to be that vulnerable and that honest and that... And it's the same with, you know, bands like Pearl Jam or artists like Peter Gabriel. Um, you can feel it when um, they're just telling the truth uh, of their experience, and... And that's what we want to do, is tell the truth of our experience. That's awesome. Well, my final question is for you. i got to say, congratulations on Nashville being renewed. I'm so happy about that. I'm sure you are as well. Is there any word on when it, we can expect it to air? And how do you feel Avery is going to continue to grow? Well, I'm not exactly sure when it's going to air. We're going to start filming um, in the next month or so, I believe. Um, and I think that... You know, Avery's gonna hopefully continue to mature as as a father, as a as a as a person first and foremost, and secondly as an artist. Um, I think there is going to be some more 
of his own music in season five than, than has been there in the last few years. So, uh, But I'm excited. I mean, I don't really know exactly how everything's going to go, and I get to discover that almost like the audience does. I think it's going to be good. Well, thank you guys so much, and best of luck to, to you.